ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my documentary on the history and future of Pace Brantley School. My name is Ryan Sloboda. I am a junior here at Pace Brantley School in Longwood, Florida, and I'm going to take you on an incredible journey where you will learn all about Pace Brantley School, how it came to be, and what the future holds. So come with me. Our story begins right here with the founder of our school, Mary E. Dunn. Mrs. Mary Dunn established Pace Brantley School in 1972. Her dream was to start a small school to help students with reading difficulties. Today, Pace Brantley School has become one of the most popular special needs schools in the Central Florida area for teaching students with all kinds of learning disabilities. I had a chance to interview Dr. Richard Dunn a member of the Pace Brantley School Board of Trustees, local orthodontist, and son of Mary E. Dunn. But how did she establish Pace Brantley? Well, back 35 years ago, she was a reading teacher for all of Seminole County Public Schools. And she noticed that there were some kids, some students who um, couldn't read very well and they all had something in common and that is that they they did find they could learn to read if it was more of a one-on-one -on -one situation between the teacher and the student rather than in the classroom so several uh, parents of these students got together and begged her to start a little school and they helped to finance it and get it started and that's how Pace Brantley got started. Did she always know that she wanted to make this school for kids with different types of disabilities, with like autism, Down syndrome, dyslexia, etc.? No, she didn't always know that because it was it was uh, back in the day that they didn't even know that much about learning disabilities and learning differences. So she was kind of a pioneer in that area. She kind of figured it out all on her own, along with some other teachers who were facing the same things. So she was a pioneer in the whole learning difference category. Many of you probably don't know that Pace Brantley School was not always here in Longwood, Florida to begin with. Mrs. Dunn started her school by renting a small space at a local church in Maitland called the Maitland Presbyterian Church. Her school focused on teaching elementary school aged kids who had reading disabilities. She would be amazed to see how much her school has grown, not just in size, but in the wide range of learning differences of the students. There came a time when Mrs. Dunn was told by the landlord at the church that she had one month to relocate her school. She called Dr. Dunn to explain the problem. His dental office is located in Longwood, and on his lunch break, he drove around to see if he could find a suitable location for the school. He came across a small house on three acres that seemed like a perfect fit. Mrs. Dunn and her family were involved with Pace Brantley School for many years. Mr. Dunn was a math tutor and ran the financial books for the school. Dr. Dunn and his sister were on the board. Even Dr. Dunn's son, Stephen, attended the school for a few years as a student. As Mary Dunn got older, she retired as executive director in 1985 at the age of 75, but she continued on as the school librarian. When she retired, she still made time to come back to school for special events and enjoyed reading with her students. Mary Dunn died in 2000. Dr. Dunn remains a steadfast member of the board of Pace Brantley School, continuing to follow his mother's vision for how the school will grow in the future. Pace Brantley School is a success because of the amazing staff they have had through the years. One staff member is Mr. Kelly Moles, who has been on staff at Pace since 2004. He has held many positions at Pace, such as teacher, coach, senior class advisor, fundraiser, international travel coordinator, fishing club sponsor, and yearbook advisor. Coach Moles shared with us his favorite memories of being here at Pace Brantley. I've got two, my two favorite memories the first one was in 2012 when I received Teacher of the Year, and my second would be um, when I got to ride on top of a 40-foot pirate ship through downtown Orlando the first time that we were in a parade 10 years ago. 
Now that must be fun. That was a lot of fun. Teachers at Pace make a difference in the lives of their students. Coach Bowles was happy to share with us what makes him most proud in his career at Pace. I think the thing that I'm most proud of is when one of our students overcomes their fears or their challenges and meets success for the first time. Another amazing teacher here at Pace Brantley School is Mrs. Diane Klein. Not only is she celebrating her 19th year teaching at Pace, but her husband is also on staff and her daughter will be graduating from Pace this year in May. Mrs. Klein teaches math in middle and high school for a period of time. She worked in administration for a few years, but missed working directly with students, so she returned to the classroom. She was meant to work here at Pace. Um, after becoming a teacher, I started working in the public school system and I worked with students with learning disabilities and I dreamt of working somewhere where we had smaller class sizes and we had more resources and being part of the private sector and happened to stumble upon Pace. When Mrs. Klein was asked about her favorite part of working at Pace Brantley School, here is what she shared. Is the opportunity and privilege to work with you guys. That's the best part. That's why we have you. That's what makes my heart sing. Pace Brantley School has expanded greatly over the past 35 years. What began as one small building has now grown to seven buildings. A basketball court, a baseball and soccer field, a huge playground, the car loop track, an assembly hall with a library, a new high-tech security system, a greenhouse, and garden. It truly is amazing how the dream of one woman can make such an impact on the lives of so many students. Mrs. Dunn's legacy will forever live on in the continued expansion of the school and the education of the students who attend it. Ms. Pam Tapley began her career as an elementary school teacher over 25 years ago. She then taught middle school and went on to become a high school principal and has spent the last five years as the head of school at Pace Brantley. She took some time to sit down with me to discuss with me her favorite part of her job. It's got to be the kids. I love Definitely. working with you guys, Ryan. You all are so, you know, who gets to go to a job and be part of such great kids get hugs every day because you know Ms. Tapley loves oh, hugs. Oh, definitely. And just be able to feel like you're making a difference. So to me, it's the best job in the whole world. Ms. Tapley also talked about her favorite memories here at Pace. I think for memories, it's about seeing kids being successful. Um, graduating and moving on to um, college or vocational or having a great job but seeing that once they finish with us that they are out there in society contributing members and that they're they're happy and they're doing things that they really love doing so I think all of that is special I so that leads us to the future of Pace Brantley. But where will we go from here? Don't worry, Ms. Tapley shared us with some fabulous future plans for Pace Brantley's future. Well, I'll tell you that the Board of Trustees and Ms. Tapley have been working very, very hard at starting a capital campaign. So we're going to have to raise probably close to $7 million, which is a lot of money, but I know we can do it so that we can replace the building that you and I are in, um, the building that some of our elementary kids are in, because these are pretty old buildings, and it's time for us to upgrade them. So we're looking at being able to do that. And then the other thing is we're looking to um, build a vocational center. center. So our dream is um, to, to get busy and get that going too. Absolutely. Well, everyone, this is the end of my documentary, but don't worry, this isn't the end of our journey. Pace Brantley will continue to grow and thrive, all thanks to our pioneering vision of Mary Dunn and the amazing staff and students to what it is today and what it is in the future. The best is yet to come. I'm Ryan Slavuda. Thank you, everyone, for watching.